Wednesday, June 19th, uh, back from a Father's Day weekend and catching up. We've had a very strong rally, exactly what I did not expect, and new highs and holding the ground. But you know my situation. When I get overbought, especially in the high 80s and low 90s, we're likely very, very soon to have some sort of a downside correction. I need to have a higher high than the previous day, probably early in the day, and then a big down day to get that kind of reversal, which happens frequently at tops. Uh, recently, that uh, top on May 23rd worked fairly well for about a week or so. But then we had a bullish engulfing. Unfortunately, it didn't get oversold, and then I would have had green, an official buy signal. Nevertheless, the bullish engulfing obviously has turned the market up into overbought condition for the last few days. And these kinds of statements apply to the other indexes, except for the Russell. And because this is a holiday in many cases, many markets, not necessarily New York and the electronics indexes, but Chicago, for example, um, interest rate futures are, are still active today, but mostly not a lot is going on. Therefore, you should expect probably a doji inside trading range, but we have been a little higher than the previous highs or the previous day earlier. And now things are winding down, probably going to regain a lot of activity tomorrow. Okay, nothing happened at the moment, except I reiterate 87.32 at the moment RSI, very, very high. We're likely to have a downside correction, and I would expect it to get back to 54.36, give or take a, week, a little bit. But that would be the beginning of the support area in this range down to, say, 34, uh, 5,400. Next chart. Uh, is simply the five minute, and as you can see, the market's pretty much going flat. And we're Spider is not trading today, so pass the Qs, pass, and the NASDAQ has a very minor range inside Doji. But look at this we have been probably just touching 92 on the RSI, and as a result, I'm even more emphatic about a break coming very soon. Hopefully, I'll get a bearish engulfing, and in this overbought condition, more likely than not, a red signal as well, and any time now. And the one five-minute is just also going pretty much flat today. Uh, the YM down futures. Now, the double-top formation we had in some of the under indexes is still good in the uh, Dow. So we did catch the two highs. And the last one was on May 20th, perfectly. That's great for the DIA. And the lowest low between the two highs, all ER signals. Lately, we've had a very quiet sideways trading range, which does not kill the double top, although it is unusual to see it go sideways this amount of time in a very small range. We need to start making lower lows than a few days ago and new lows for about a month and a half in order to perpetuate the double top likelihood. The downside breakout would be at 37,862, closing below there. And then the minimum downside objective should, could we hope, be 35,088. Next chart. And today it's been drifting a little bit lower Next, the Russell. Major long-term historical resistance stopped the rallies for the last couple of years. Did it again. Overbought conditions. Old news. That's a month ago. We recently had new lows since then, and it's been stair-stepping its way down nicely, and there's no reason to believe it's going to change so far. Neutral RSI. No particular major support area real close by. A little lower, 1980-ish. Next chart. Just a five-minute version of the same thing. And the bonds. Had a bearish engulfing um, a day or so before I left. And 
it did work its way lower only for one day. But plenty of room for uh, ER1 scalp and a uh, potential ER3 scalp if you get filled. Now, minor new highs creeping its way up. What's the most important thing here? I believe it's the channel that we did break out of and had a test to the top of it and now have made new highs again. So I'm looking for higher levels, not necessarily super fast. There could easily be a downside correction. I see my RSI is not doing what I would expect it to do. Something went wrong on that. But I'm expecting it to be relatively overbought, but not necessarily above um, uh, 75. It hasn't turned yellow yet, but probably is around 70. And for 10-year notes, same situation. We broke out of that its channel uh, a little precariously, but finally, and now I've made higher highs again. So that looks optimistic. But again, I could expect, and the RSI is fine here at around 61, to have a small sideways downside correction at any time, but I'm bullish. And I have alluded to that for a long time, uh, since last fall, I believe even during the downward slanting channel, because those are usually bullish formations to begin with. And it's proving to have turned around so far so good. Over what, two months now, we've had a higher high and no lower low, a higher high, a little, a little bit of a dip, and then another higher high. So next stalling out point on substantial fast strength, which I'm not so sure we're gonna get, might be around um, 112 and a half. And then, of course, you've got the double top in here, which worked great to deal with. After that, it's really going to keep going a long time more, I think. And uh, that's long-term bullish, indeed. Next chart is the crude oil open today in New York. And we're getting a new high at the top of resistance area and overbought. A couple of my favorite combinations. Looks like it could have a downside correction any moment. And if I can get a bearish engulfing, I will probably have a red bearish ER cell signal. Next is the natural gas trading today. Not very large range, but a little higher than yesterday. And we're kind of very neutral territory here. Maybe this sort of double top will kick in if we can start to make new lows again, which would produce a test at a minimum of the lowest low for the trend. Hmm. That could be long-term bearish. On the other hand, if it started to make a third and then higher high, we're going to go all the way up into this green zone, major historical resistance. So kind of neutral at the moment. Next, heating oil <clears throat> trading today, a higher high touching um, resistance area. And out of the last four days, we've been overbought three out of four. So overbought again today at resistance could have a downside correction at any time. But unfortunately, there is fairly good support relatively close by. So the correction on the downside I would be expecting at any time may not drop off much more. I mean, and you've got a little trend line that uh, could offer some support as well, maybe. So we're between a rock and a hard spot, maybe. Next. Double top formation in gold, which is New York, silver, copper, platinum, and pretty much nothing happening for the last week or so. Support held. The double top looked like it was about to have a downside breakout, but you do need to close below previous lows. Otherwise, you've got yourself a bear trap sometimes, which is exactly what happened here. So it rallied for two days. Nah, nothing happened next. I'm looking for a downside breakout. Next, silver. Don't see anything particularly super bullish about the last low a few days ago. A little bit more of a rally could easily turn this down again. I think it's most important that it got terribly overbought and has now been zigzagging its way, lower lows, lower lows, etc., and lower highs for a couple of months. I think that's going to continue. Next stop on the way down, uh, I think 27.785-ish. Next. We've got a little rally going in platinum for a couple of days after being oversold uh, a couple of days after I left. So 
Uh, it managed to turn around, but I haven't got any signal on the bottom, unfortunately. If we're going to rally, it'll be probably it'll be up to 1019-ish, and that's about it. And that could form a head and shoulder top, especially if it took, I don't know, what are we looking at? The top of the market we got to the exact day so far. Neckline would be from here to here. Last shoulder would be, come on, move. Um, about, gosh, next few days, give or take. Just looks like somewhere in here, yeah, next week. Um, and at around that price level, 1020. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Next, high grade copper. Um, got, well, I could call it a shoulder, but it's not probably. Rally high, okay for a few days. Got overbought, topped out, and has been continuing to zigzag its way down, sort of in a downward slanting channel, not necessarily, but it didn't quite get oversold enough to turn my color codes a yellow, which would have meant oversold, coming relatively close several times. I don't know. I think you could test support again. I don't see it bouncing a lot. Next, soybeans, soybean oil, meal, corn, wheat, then cattle. And we got the bottom in ho uh, hogs. So you want to see that in a minute. Um, beans, support may hold this market. We're getting very close to oversold conditions on the breaks. It needed uh, just a little bit more to get to its minimum downside objective, which did put it in jeopardy of making a new low and therefore crashing. But I think support has a good chance of holding it because we're very close to uh, oversold conditions. In the next few days, it might just start to turn around and go back up again. Uh, how about oil? Oil has been holding extremely well in a support area two times now and has managed to rally uh, yesterday. Remember, this is Chicago Board of Trade stuff, uh, the next few charts. And uh, today is closed, but that's a minor upside breakout. So major support is doing its job. And I'm looking for a challenge of 46.77, uh, 46.80 and probably higher. Next, meal did manage to bottom out at a support level as I've had drawn for a long time in there and start to move its way up sort of, nah, a little. In the last two weeks, come on, this is a little slow. I'd like to see it start to make higher highs very quickly. But the problem is I still have this as a downside objective 326. It only got down to 340, which was support. And that 340 level did hold it so far. Is it going to hold again if we're coming down another time? Probably not. I think the sell signal and the double top formation rules and the fact that the rally was just a little bit up into a small amount of resistance from previous lows looks like it's trying to turn it down. Next chart is corn. Oversold conditions so far turned it around. We got a couple of days with a dip back to a support line. This is not trading today. But we did, of course, get the low of the market back on February 26 so far. And I've been talking about grains building long-term bottoms for quite a while. It's very interesting in soybean oil at the moment. So corn, ah, uh, neutral momentarily, but I'd love to see more strength and an upside breakout, especially, of course, to close above 482 and a quarter. That would be very bullish longer term, I expect. Next, wheat. Um, oversold again. Now we did get a buy signal in wheat on the day I left. So I wasn't able to see that happen at the time. It didn't work out. Market didn't have any follow through whatsoever. Uh, the day trade scalp might have made some money, but kind of doubt that probably lost a little and uh, everything else. No, nah, no good. Downside breakout, new lows. M uh, Monday, yesterday, Tuesday, new lows again getting oversold again, getting very close to this support level. And uh, I expect it could bounce off of it, maybe in the next day or two and start to rally. Next, wheat, I'm sorry, cattle. Kind of exhaustion strength here looks like a bit and divergences overbought here, but with a higher high in price and at a significant resistance level, it didn't draw it in yet, I should have. Right across there would be the exact high of the area and probably down to about there, which means down to there. Yep, 
that's it. We're in a resistance area, just barely missing over bought conditions. So it's almost, and I'm looking for a little bit more of a dip. I'm thinking we just turned around and started to work our way lower. Next, um, hogs got the bottom, whopping big bullish engulfing. Uh, that was um, Friday of last week. Rallied nicely the next day, and that would be Monday and yesterday, Tuesday, um, basically sideways. Looking for higher levels and looking for a move back up to approximately uh, 100.40. Next. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, back tomorrow, same time. Thank you very much. Have a profitable trading day.